voice procedure includes various techniques used to clarify, simplify, and standardize spoken communications over two-way radios, in use by the military, in civil aviation, police and fire dispatching systems, citizens' band radio, etc. Especially, for civil aviation, it used to be called aeronautical phraseology. Voice procedure communications are intended to maximize clarity of spoken communication and reduce misunderstanding. It consists of signaling protocols such as the use of abbreviated codes like the CB Radio 10 code, Q codes in amateur radio and aviation, police codes, etc., and jargon. For instance the United States Air Force uses the term check rog meaning received and acknowledged. Some elements of voice procedure are understood across many applications, but significant variations exist. The military of the NATO countries have similar procedures in order to make cooperation easier, and pseudo-military organizations often base their procedures on them, so some commonality exists there. Words in voice procedure Some words with specialized meanings are used in radio communication throughout the English-speaking world, and in international radio communication, where English is the lingua franca. Note that the following list commingles incompatible terms used in different communication modes, each of which has its own terminology. Affirmative slash affirm I euro yes. Negative via euro no, reading U5 slash loud and clear slash your signal is clear. 5A, 5. Over a euro I have finished talking and I am listening for your reply. Short for over to you. Come in a euro you may begin speaking now. Out a euro I have finished talking to you and do not expect a reply. Wait a euro I do not have the answer or information to hand, I will attempt to source the answer or information requested shortly but until then I have finished talking and do not expect a reply. Can be suffixed with a number to indicate a estimated number of minutes until a reply can be expected x, wait 2 indicates you should expect my reply in approximately 2 minutes. Roger a euro I have received all of the last transmission in both military and civilian aviation radio communications. This usage comes from the initial or of received, I was called Roger in the radio alphabets or spelling alphabets in use by the military at the time of the invention of the radio, such as the Joint Army Navy phonetic alphabet and RAF phonetic alphabet. It is also often shortened in writing to RGR. The word Romeo is used for R rather than Roger in the modern international NATO phonetic alphabet. Contrary to popular belief, Roger does not mean or imply both received, and I will comply. That distinction goes to the contraction Wilco, which is used exclusively if the speaker intends to say received and will comply. Thus, the phrase Roger Wilco is both procedurally incorrect and redundant. Ten fury euro I understand. Ok. All right. Copilar a euro I heard what you just said. Ok. All right. Ready to copilar a euro write down. Wilco a euro will comply. Go ahead or send your trafficker a euro send your transmission. Say again repeat. Please repeat your last message. Break a euro signals a pause during a long transmission to open the channel for other transmissions, especially for allowing any potential emergency traffic to get through. Break break a euro signals to all listeners on the frequency, the message to follow is priority. Almost always reserved for emergency traffic or in NATO forces, an urgent nine line or frag O. In aviation it simply signifies the end of a transmission to one call sign and the commencement of transmission to another for example. GWXYZ Standy. Break break. GABCD cleared to land runway 17 inches etc. Roger so far in a euro confirm you have received and understood the contents of my transmission so far. This is used during long message procedure, messages lasting over 20 seconds prefixed by the pro word long message and the initiating CS must give a gap of 5 seconds after the receiving station has replied with Roger. This 5 seconds is to allow other stations onto the net if they have important messages. Stand by or wait out a euro pause for the next transmission. This does not usually entail staying off the air until the operator returns as they have used the word out which indicates the transmission has ended. 
The net is now free for other traffic to flow but users should be aware that the previous CS may reinitiate a call as per their wait out. As with wait, this can be appended with a number to indicate estimated number of minutes. For example, we are on the phone with them trying to sort this out, stand by 5. Call sign actual call sign 9 rel euro sometimes an individual may have a person monitor the network for them. Saying actual after their call sign asserts you wish to speak to the specific person the call sign is attached to X, calling the call sign headquarters would often get junior clerk or similar. Calling headquarters actual would indicate that the commander of the headquarters detachment, and thus the entire unit to which it is attached, is requested to be spoken to, or is actually speaking. Czar copyright curator a Euro maritime safety call. Repeated three times. Has priority over routine calls. Pampana Euro maritime aviation urgency call. Repeated three times. Has priority over safety calls. Made a Euro maritime aviation distress call. Repeated three times and at beginning of every following transmission relating to the current distress situation. Has priority over urgency and safety calls. Roger was the U.S. military designation for the letter of from 1927 to 1957. Each area of usage will have its own subset of prowarts, usually derived from the NATO set, but sometimes from earlier Q code and Morse operator practices. Furthermore, the use of some special prowarts is tightly controlled, with that word never used on the air in other contexts within that area of usage. Examples include repeat, takeoff, rescue, and mayday. Example usage, aeronautical mobile procedure, the Federal Aviation Administration uses the term phraseology to describe voice procedure or communications protocols used over telecommunications circuits. An example is air traffic control radio communications. Standardized wording as used on the person receiving the message may repeat critical parts of the message back to the sender. This is especially true of safety critical messages. Consider this example of an exchange between a controller and an aircraft, aircraft Boston Tower, Warrior Tree 5 Foxtrot, holding short of 2 2 right. Tower, Warrior Tree 5 Foxtrot, Boston Tower, runway 2 2 right, cleared for immediate takeoff. Aircraft, Roger, Tree 5 Foxtrot, cleared for immediate takeoff, 2 2 right. On telecommunications circuits, disambiguation is a critical function of voice procedure. Due to any number of variables, including radio static, a busy or loud environment, or similarity in the phonetics of different words, a critical piece of information can be misheard or misunderstood. For instance, a pilot being ordered to 11,000 as opposed to 7,000. To reduce ambiguity, Critical information may be broken down and read as separate letters and numbers. To avoid error or misunderstanding, pilots will often read back altitudes in the tens of thousands using both separate numbers and the single word. However, this is usually only used to differentiate between 10,000 and 11,000 AFT since these are the most common altitude deviations. The runway number read visually as 18, when read over a voice circuit as part of an instruction becomes 1-8. In some cases a spelling alphabet is used. Instead of the letters AB, the words Alpha Bravo are used. Main Street becomes Mike Alpha India November Street, clearly separating it from Drain Street and Wayne Street. The numbers 5 and 9 are pronounced 5, and 9 are respectively, since 5 and 9 can sound the same over the radio. The use of Niner in place of Nine is due to German-speaking NATO allies for whom the spoken word Nine could be confused with the German word Nien or No. Over fire service radios, phraseology may include words that indicate the priority of a message, for example, 44 truck to the Bronx, urgent, or San Diego, engine 40, emergency traffic. Words may be repeated to modify them from traditional use in order to describe a critical message. Evacuate. 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 A similar technique may be used in aviation for critical messages. For example, this transmission might be sent to an aircraft which has just landed and has not yet cleared the runway. Echo Fox Trot Charlie, Tower. 
I have engine out traffic on short final. Exit runway at next taxiway. Expedite. Expedite. Police radios also use this technique to escalate a call that is quickly becoming an emergency. Code 3. Code 3. Code 3. Railroads have similar processes. When instructions are read to a locomotive engineer, they are preceded by the train or locomotive number, direction of travel, and the engineer's name. This reduces the possibility that a set of instructions will be acted on by the wrong locomotive engineer. 566 West, Engineer Jones, OK to proceed two blocks west to Ravendale. Phraseology on telecommunications circuits may employ special phrases like 10 codes, SIGOLET, quick alert, or road service towing abbreviations such as T6. This jargon may abbreviate critical data and alert listeners by identifying the priority of a message. It may also reduce errors caused by ambiguities involving rhyming, or similar sounding, words. Maritime mobile procedure, done on VHF CH-16, boat Albacore talking to boat Bronin, Albacore, Bronin, Bronin, Bronin this is Albacore, over. Bronin, Albacore, this is Bronin, over. Albacore, this is Albacore. Want to tow and the you OK for tea at Osborne Bay? Over. Bronin, this is Bronin. Negative, got engine running, 1600 at Clubhouse fine with us over. Albacore, this is Albacore, Roger, out. Copy that is incorrect. Copy is used when a message has been intercepted by another station, that is a third station would respond, non as such Brownwin. This is non as such. Copied your previous, we'll also see you there, out. One should always use one's own call sign when transmitting. This system works better when the message rate and signal quality is low. British Army, Station C21A talking to C33B, C21A, hello C33B, this is C21A, over. C33B, C33B, send. Over. C21A, have you got C1AD Sunray at your location? Over. C33B, no, I think he is with C3AC, over. C21A, Roger, out. The advantage of this sequence is that the recipient always knows who sent the message. The downside is that the listener only knows the intended recipient from the context of the conversation. Requires moderate signal quality for the radio operator to keep track of the conversations. However a broadcast message and response is fairly efficient. A, uh, hello all call signs, this is a. Radio check, over. 1, 1 oc over. 2, 2 oc over. 3, 3 difficult over. 4, 4 oc over. A, A. OK, out. The difficult response is to tell her that the radio signal is not good but will work. A can now reinitiate a call on to three and start another RC or instruct them to relocate, change settings, etc. So it could carry on with, four full lock over. A, A. OK, out to you. Hello three this is a, move 100M north and initiate radio check once in position, over. Three, three. Wilco. Out. Frequency control, in public radio, voice procedure controls the behavior and use of the frequency between each operator. Deregulated frequencies, such as family radio service has no voice procedure, but due to the limited range of transmission it is unlikely a transmission will be heard outside of a single party. On signals open to the public with broader reception, such as citizens band, there is only enough protocol to allow operators to speak one at a time or allow emergency traffic to go through. Otherwise, there is no prioritization or rules to the communication outside of following local and federal laws regarding communication. Other stations requiring licensure such as amateur radio bands or Mars users have strict usage and transmission rules which operators are trained on that allows authorized users to communicate. Regulated radio frequencies often have unlicensed users who are unaware of the protocol on a certain channel and are asked to sign off if they fail to identify a call sign as a licensed operator, 
or are reported by licensed operators to the licensing body for possible advisement or citation. Amateur radio frequencies also may have assigned functions which may allow or disallow certain traffic including voice, such as continuous wave transmission or data-only transmission frequencies. Structured use is seen in voice procedure for government, military and disaster command usage. In law enforcement and public safety use, voice procedure follows a protocol that governs who can speak on a frequency and when. Since modern police frequencies are on a restricted bandwidth it is unlikely that an unlicensed party will interrupt communication. All operators on a frequency are assumed to be authorized to utilize a channel unless proven otherwise. Licensed radios in law enforcement often utilize trunking, or multiple frequencies selected by a control tower at random which prevent single-channel scanners from picking up a transmission. A frequency may be dispatch controlled which is controlled by one control station and any parties wishing to use the frequency must direct all calls to the control station who routes calls as needed to necessary parties. A tactical frequency has no control station, and is intended to be used on an ad hoc basis for situations, such as multiple units attempting an arrest to surround a single property. Tactical frequencies may or may not be trunked and may be susceptible to single-channel scanner reception. See also, 5x5, ICAO spelling alphabet, list of international common standards, mayday, procedure word, station identification, military slang, notes, pilot controller glossary. Federal Aviation Administration A. 2. Radio Telephony Manual. Civil Aeronautics Authority. PA 5 ACP 125, F. Communication Instructions Radio Telephone Procedure, Combined Communication Electronics Board, September 2001, PPA 3 Euro 14, Retrieved 2012 02 20. Staff Robin. Straight Dope Science Advisory Board. Why do pilots say Roger on the radio? The Straight Dope. Archived from the original on January 29, 2008 a, c, Section 2, Radio Communications Phraseology and Techniques, Aeronautical Information Manual, U.S. Department of Transportation, Federal Aviation Administration. Any year AIM will serve as an example. Another example is completing the loop, two-way communication, special report, improving firefighter communications, USFATR 099 slash January 1999, pages 27. C. Problem Reporting, Special Report, Improving Firefighter Communications, USFATR 099 slash January 1999, pages 25 to 26. FDNY has implemented these ideas and they were observed on publicly release FDNY September 11, 2001 logging recorder audio CDs. Portions of these CDs were broadcast on news programs. For an example of fire procedures, look at Communications Procedures, 12A4JH970314. Cannon, Mike. Eavesdropping on the British Military. Dublin, Cara Press PPA 85A Euro 85A, External Links, Origins of Ham's Peak.